on, come on. Yes, this is gonna be amazing, cannot wait. Ah, right, time to chill with some TV, I think. The Prime Minister has announced the most drastic limits to our lives that the UK has ever seen in living memory. I urge you to stay at home, protect our NHS and save lives. Um, this can't be good. Well, that was a long three years, wasn't it? How's everyone doing? What have you been up to? I got married twice. That was that was fun. Same person. So, uh, yeah, it's been three long years. Um, I've been to a few gigs. I just haven't filmed them. So Maximum the Hormone played in London. Got to go to that. That was amazing. That was on, you know, that day in, I think, June when it was hotter than the sun. Well, London was like 38 degrees. That's when they played. Um, I, I lost about 20 pounds in sweat. But that was fun, but no filming, so I just didn't do a, a gig vlog. Um, obviously went to Hyper Japan, saw a bunch of good bands there. There was a vlog for that, but this is the first like proper gig vlog back in London. And it's weird, so this, this gig has been rescheduled twice now. This is the third date for it, and it's finally actually here. We've seen photos and videos of them in Berlin. They did fly over, so we're all good. I had to obviously cancel the US tour because of uh, because of Coldermort. So hopefully they've not been out Harry Potter Studios today, surrounding themselves with uh, all the flu-ridden masses, but we'll see. So we'll, uh, we'll get to a bit more about the gig later. I'm in Camden right now. I'm on my way to Camden Station to meet Josh, who you might remember from, uh, let me think, at least two band-made gigs. Uh, so let's go and say hi to him. The man in the Dreamcatcher shirt. Morning. Hello, how are you? <laughs> As if you could miss me wearing this one. Uh, we went to that. That's good. 2019, he's come back. I think it was the last concert we went to, wasn't it? That'll be it. I didn't I didn't film it because I got you were VIP and I got stuck at the back. And it was absolutely and missing. I could barely time. see anything. Oh yeah, and that as well. <laughs> yeah, so that one didn't get filmed. Never mind. All right, Camden. Shall we go and have an explore? Yeah, we probably yeah, should. Sounds good. We seen there, Man with a Mission, Band Made, Fem, Love Bites, good venue. But anyway, it's uh, Islington Academy. We're at the Scandal today, which is the only venue they've ever played, right? Yeah, it's the only one. Only one. Well, maybe a bit of variation, but it's good size. Anyway, we are done eating. We're done walking around 17 different markets. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Islington now and join the queue. If I remember right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Go to Academy. We're nearly there. How big's the queue going to be? Yeah, to be honest, I don't think the scandal will be that big. It, it has been before. Okay. I know people who have been here since like eight or nine in the morning really? for the for the previous ones, okay. especially for VIP. But for VIP, we get to go in and sort of the same anyway. I reckon 15, 20 people. Yeah, uh, yeah it's about a dozen, 10, 15. And uh, we don't even need to guess, we know so many. There were 19 people in front of us because uh, some wonderful fans have decided that they're, they're going to number all the VIPs. So if we need to go off to the toilet, get some food, some water, we can. So it's, it's about three o'clock, we're in a queue. A couple of hours, it's starting to get bigger. And I think we're up to about 30, 40 now. A bit quieter than previous years. I don't know why, maybe there's less VIP tickets. Maybe people just aren't turning up as early. I don't know. Um, I haven't seen that many non-VIP. It's good to see some familiar faces. When you come to a lot of J-Rock, J-Pop gigs, you tend to start to see the same people, seem to recognise faces. Once you're a fan of one band, it's pretty easy to then become a fan of another. So anyway, let's uh, let's head back into the queue. Uh, let's meet some people. It's Josh. Hello. Right, we are about an hour, maybe two, from going in. And uh, yeah. <laughs> We made some friends. This is a uh, Gary. I met 
Second gig? Second gig, yellow gig. Um, and this is friend Jim. Jim. <laughs> you all know Josh, he's, he's been bothering me all day. He's a fast Yeah. So, second scandal gig? My second gig. Okay, and well, how many times have we been? Uh, you went to the original. I went to the, yeah. Middle three. Yeah. yeah. Hello World and Yellow Tour. Yeah. Same. Same. You need to leave. <laughs> Trust Poor me, fan. I wanted to go. You don't. You don't even have the official uh, T-shirt because. Come on, get on our level. Concert oh, edition. Where the last concert I went to? Get on, on Get on our level. <laughs> no one's got yeah. the uh, the yellow T-shirt from Feedback though. You know, from Tokyo. I'm not going to say anything else about it. Still fits. Just. Just got in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're uh, we're famous now. Sorry. Sorry, it's good, oh, good time oh, 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 to go to the oh, toilet. Oh, 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 oh. I'm waiting another. Anyway, yeah, we're, uh, we're famous now. We just got interviewed. Let's see if that shows up anywhere. Anyway, let's go somewhere a bit quieter and uh, let's have a chat. Right, that's better. It's a bit brighter, a bit quieter. I think I've said multiple times in this video, this is the second reschedule, the third date. Um, there was one reschedule. And it was sort of, you know, COVID was starting to get a little bit better because it was summer, it was a bit warmer. And everyone's getting a little bit unsure whether it was going to go ahead. And then the band announced that the day before and the day after the date for the London gig, they were playing gigs in Japan. So everyone was like, well, it's possible. Fly here, fly back to Japan in a day. But that didn't happen. At that point, everyone knew it wasn't going to happen. Um, and then the next day they were like, oh yeah, cancelled, sorry. Uh, and gave us new dates. But, you know, we're finally here. But when the gig was first announced, it was a tour for the Kids From The Darkness album. They toured Hello World, they toured Yellow, and then Nothing For Honey, and then went for the next album, Kids From The Darkness. Obviously that got canceled. And now since then, they came out with another album. They came out with Mirror. Um, and this is now a tour for Mirror. So what I was curious about is whether they're gonna play, you know, are they gonna maybe cover those three albums that they've not toured in the UK before? However, this is the second gig on the tour and, um, and they played Berlin two nights ago and someone took a photo of the set list and put it on the internet. And it was, it was very, very heavy on Mirror, which it's not my favorite one. However, from looking at the Berlin set list, they played about eight out of the 10 songs, only played three off Kiss From The Darkness and played one off Honey, which is a bit disappointing, you know, I'd like a sort of a good mix then, but I guess at the end of the day, that's the current album, that's the one they want to promote. But I will be the first to admit, sometimes I go into a show not liking a song, they play it live and suddenly it's amazing. Baby Metal's a perfect example. Imagine I had a song they released on the last album that I just, I couldn't listen to it. It really grated on me. And then went to see them in Manchester and they played it and it was just one of the most fun songs I've ever seen them play live. Big improvement after I saw it live. So hopefully hearing some of the Mirror songs live will elevate them a little bit. We'll see. Regardless, I know how good a show the girls put on. I know how great they are live. But they're still, you know, still got the classics. Still got Shunk and Sentimental. You still got Doll. They played Image last night as well. They even played a B-side. They played Flashback number five. They played a random B-side from Stamp, if I remember right. So we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Anyway, uh, VIP. We get early access. Good standard, we get early access to merch. We actually get a photo with the band, up to five people per photo, which is pretty good. Good thing is we've got a nice little group of four there. We just need to find one more person who's got no one to be with. Not had a photo with them before. I think the last gig was just high touch and early access to merch. So photo's good, I'm always up for a photo. Anyway, we're about maybe half an hour to an hour from going in. So I'm gonna head back to the queue and wait for them to let us good old VIPs, as very important persons, head in. See you inside probably. Let's, uh, let's check out how long this queue's got, eh? So we're pretty full up here. And now we have part two of the queue. We're in, gents. What are you doing? Two shirts and a towel. Two two t-shirts, one towel. The whole of ages. Ooh, keyring as well. Yeah, I need to replace one. Wow. Yeah, now I need to. Um, that is quite the whole gentleman. As always, <laughs> towel, t-shirt. We are in the holding area. 
about to get sucked out of the airlock. Yeah, I don't want to point my camera through there because we'll get told off and thrown out. Well, that was generally quite well organized, right? And we've got four, four wonderful photos to choose between. Three in the one where you are like, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll drop them in here and you can enjoy a little slideshow of our wonderful photos. Right, so we're up on the balcony, and we can see we can see the stage where they had the uh, the actual set list there. So we've zoomed in as much as we can. So this is tonight's set list. That is Berlin's set list. So it's a bit blurry. We might be able to decipher it. So mirror flashback number five. I think the main set list is the same. It's almost exactly the same, isn't it? It's exactly the same when it's the last song. Yeah. So the only difference is we don't have doll. So no doll. So Buying your towel was pointless. <laughs> towel is the swing your towel song. That's it. Oh. It's fine, it's mirrored. <laughs> Put on. Beautiful. T minus two minutes. And then it was time.
side we go. What's that you got there? It's a pig that we just handed by the stop. Oh, that looks oh, really cool. It looks exactly like mine. Wow. What a coincidence. It looks just like her. A certain guitarist. Yes, yeah, isn't it crazy? <laughs> I normally do a wrap up after the gig, but uh, too hungry, too hot, and too tired. So I'll uh, see you at home. We'll, we'll do it there. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Right, we're back home, and I've had a, obviously a few days to sort of let the gig settle in a little bit. And to be honest, my opinion hasn't changed. It was it was amazing. Obviously, I said I had sort of doubts over the set list maybe a little bit because it was very heavy on the new album which I'm not as into as I have been previously but exactly as I thought would happen hearing the songs live just really bring them to life and to be honest I've listened to the album about four times since then and it's really really growing on me there were always a few that stood out that I liked but it's really sort of becoming a bit more cohesive as an album would I have liked there to be a few more of the songs from the albums they never got to tour yeah, absolutely. I'd have loved to have heard a few more songs from Honey and from A Kiss From The Darkness, but I totally understand it's a, it's a tour for this new album, so of course they're going to play a few more. Now, one other interesting thing about the set list, um, we obviously touched on it by comparing the Berlin set list to the London set list, and they were identical apart from one of the encore songs. And from what we're finding out about the Paris gig, which I think was last night, it looks exactly the same again, except for that one song that was changed and they did Love in Action. At first, I thought that's a bit of a shame. That's kind of disappointing that they didn't vary up the set list. But at the end of the day, most people are only gonna go to one show. Granted, there were a few people who follow them around, uh, booked a mini tour of Europe to go along with them. So to see the same gig three times in a row, not great. But for everyone else, they clearly felt they'd they picked the ideal set list, so why not just repeat it? Now, it was a long time ago that they toured. I think the Yellow Tour was maybe 2016, if I remember right. So I find it a little bit hard to remember exactly how they were, but even though I've seen them twice before, I was amazed by how sort of enthusiastic and energetic they were on stage. They just absolutely seemed to love every minute that they were there, which, as an audience member, really comes across and just pulls you into the show. Again, probably why I'm enjoying the uh, the Mirror songs a bit more now, having seen them live. Having the boxes from the stand at the front of the stage was amazing. A couple of times that Mammy, who was right in front of us, stood up and just started shredding a guitar solo right in front of us it was just amazing. But that's it. I'd, uh, I normally finish a video with all the exciting plans that are going on and be like, hey, my next gig is going to be, for example, Kerry Pamu Pamu, who's playing in London in November. Um, but guess what? Two days ago, she cancelled. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll be back at some time with some more gig vlogs. But also, if you're just finding this channel based on this video, but a lot of older videos, Man With A Mission, Band Made, Another Scandal, lots of music from Hyper Japan, Necrom Idol, so I'll pop in just here uh, a link to the previous Scandal gig and then all the previous gig vlogs if you want to check them out. Uh, and also, if you click here, you can subscribe. We always appreciate subscribers uh, and any likes you can give us. Also, let us know in the comments if you're at the gig, what did you think of it? What did you think of the set list? And if you weren't, we'll hopefully see you at the next one. Right, thank you for watching. Matane!